a lot of you are still working from home, and here are a few tips from your local fire department prevention team to help you do so safely. Good morning, everyone. I'm here to talk about ironing, something I uh, don't always do. But when I do, I always light a candle while I'm doing it. You know, it's, it's safe. <laughs> don't do that. So anyway, I'm getting ready to do my world famous fire prevention shirt right here. Got my candle out now, which is what you should be doing. Life is good. When I plug this in, plug it directly in the wall. But if you can't, you gotta use an extension cord. Use an extension cord that is rated for the amperage and what you're trying to pull. This thing pulls too many watts for a 14-2 cord. Your cord will melt and you'll get to see me as a fire investigator. So do not plug this into extension cord and let it rate it, unless it's rated for the wattage in which you're pulling. While we're on the topic of extension cords, we definitely want to make sure that we don't plug multiple things into an extension cord, especially when the extension cord is connected to multiple extension cords because that's how you will overload it. While you're working from home, always make sure that you have a fire extinguisher handy. These should be no older than six years. You can find the date stamped on the bottom. If it's not there, sometimes you can find it in the writing on the side. It'll just say 2020 like this one or whatever year it was made. Uh, make sure that every year you're checking to make sure your gauge is still in the green. And also give it a little shake so that the chemicals don't get stuck at the bottom. And then you'll be able to use it whenever you need to. Even when you're at home, evacuation plans are important. Plan for two ways out and have a meeting place set. And practice with the kids twice a year so everyone can get out safely.